On Saturday, February 16th, I took a shower. It sounds funny when I say it, but the truth is, I was in a pretty significant depression. Um, the first six weeks of 2019 sucked balls, okay? So uh, not to make this a therapy session, but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. I had the biggest breakthrough in therapy through an EMDR session that I'd had since my hospitalization in 2006. I was in a car accident. I, uh, I attended the funeral of my best friend's father. One of my best friends moved away. Then the back pain showed up from the car accident. Uh, I was going through a rough time. Plus, uh, I work from home, so I didn't have much of a social circle around me during this time. However, I did have my cat, Tiger. Now, my cat, Tiger, Tag Tags, old man, little guy, buddy boy, Tags, uh, been with me for 10 years. He was five when we rescued him on Mother's Day from um, the Boulder Humane Society. They were free that day. Remember that if you need a cat on Mother's Day. Um, and he, he was my everything. Um, and uh, he, when I would lie down, he would immediately jump up and lie down on my boobs. So like I couldn't watch TV. So I was like, so there are so many selfies of me with the cat, like, because it will always be funny. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and he was tiny and he was a snuggler and he just, he took care of me. Um, he'd been through all of it with me. And, um, on, let's say, February 10th, I had known for like the last two years that something was going on. He'd been getting thinner and thinner, and I also have anxiety, I have bipolar disorder. And, uh, and so during my down times, my paranoia would kick in and I'd talk to my husband, I'm like, but he's looking thinner than he looked before. And he's like, no, he's, he's been real skinny for a long time. I'm like, mm -hmm, I, mm, but this time he looks pretty skinny. And he's like, no, no, he's just, he's just a skinny little guy. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, but on February 10th, all of this had happened. I don't know if any of you have um, lost a pet before, but I knew something was not okay. And I don't know how I knew we had taken him to the vet a few months ago, and they're like, no, he's doing good. He's just old, and old cats sometimes get skinny. But that night, I knew something was wrong. Um, the past six weeks, as I said, had been a tough one. Sometimes depression just shows up, and you're like, what the fuck happened? I was doing great, but now it's here. Sometimes it's situational, where you're like, I'm going to maintain a positive attitude but things keep happening. And then you wind up and you're like, well, you win, okay. <laughs> but I had Tiger and Tiger, he was like, he was like my teddy bear. I have really bad insomnia, especially when I'm in a depression. Cause of course sleeping during the day is super, <laughs> but sleeping at night is not possible. So I would, I would frequently go out and find him, and he was so tiny, I could pick him up, and I could legit curl into him like he was my teddy bear, and I could fall asleep if I was holding him. However, on the 10th, I couldn't find him, and I was really scared, and I didn't know why. And I woke up the next morning, I could not find Tiger. Um, I had to get my daughter ready for school, so I'm trying to act like everything's okay. That's a sucky game for any parent to have to play. Um, and I got her off to school, and uh, I'm looking all over the house. I find him under my daughter's mattress in her filthy bedroom. She's 11, letting her live her life. And, um, and he is so far back there, and he just looks so sad. So I'm like, oh shit, I am alone, I need to call the vet. So I look up my vet's phone number on Google and I call and I'm like, I really need to see somebody as soon as possible. 
And she's like, okay, have we seen your cat before? I'm like, you have, his name is Tiger. She's like, okay, what's your name? I'm like, ironically, my name is Cat, but this is not a time that I'm supposed to be funny. And she's like, okay, I think I remember you. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, well, what's going on? I'm like, he's been really thin for a long time. Like the last couple of weeks, I knew something was going on, but I was in denial. But I was suddenly buying goat milk for the cat and like the fattiest wet food you could find because he just seemed to be wasting away. She's like, yeah, it sounds like we probably should get him in. It looks like we have a cancellation this afternoon. I'm like, okay, that's great. And she goes, can you give me your phone number? And I did, and she's like, I can't find you in the system. And I'm like, well, this is really weird. And I'm like, oh God, is this the Cheshire Cat Animal Hospital? And she goes, no, this is the cat clinic in Castle Rock. I'm like, holy shit, I called the wrong veterinarian. And I had already dumped my soul. I was sobbing by this point. And she's like, I am so sorry. We do have an opening at three. And I'm like, that's not going to do it. I need to get somebody sooner. So I, I hung up with her feeling like an idiot. And I'm like, of course, this is my life. And uh, I did get my veterinarian on the phone. And she, she got me in that morning. And I put him in his crate. And he looked so sad. And the, when we were driving there, this is a hard story, you guys. I just kept saying, it's OK. I'm going to be fine. If now is your time to go, you are great. And you've done so many good things for me, especially these last six weeks. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so lucky. And we got there, and she looked at him, and she's like, he has advanced heart disease. You are doing the best thing you can by letting him go right now. And I've never held one of my animals as they passed away. And I did on February 11th. And it sucked. <laughs> um, and then two days later, my therapist unexpectedly left the practice. So that breakthrough that I'd had about five weeks ago is still just hanging out there. If anybody's a therapist, please come find me after the show. Um, and. Uh, and then I sat there and I'm like, I don't know how to grieve an animal and when it's okay to get a new cat because here's the other thing. We had three cats. There are three people in my house. Each cat uh, picked a person. I tried snuggling with those two other cats like you would not believe and they're like, you are not my problem. <laughs> so I am happy to announce that I found a new friend last weekend, and his name is Martin. I just found out he's primarily Maine Coon and could wind up being upwards of 30 pounds. <laughs> um, but the thing is, when we got to my house, the first toy he went to was Tiger's Kicker. And <laughs> it's just really awesome how the world works. <laughs> Thank you.